You're listening to the Unmute Podcast with Maisha Cherry. Welcome to the place where philosophy and real world issues collide. Today, I chat with Jason Stanley. I'm, I think that philosopher ca- carries with it a kind of suggestion that one enjoys reflection. And I think that that's an extremely important sense of the term. Uh, and I, I often describe myself as teaching philosophy or working in philosophy rather than a philosopher. Because first of all, I don't want to distinguish myself from others who reflect, but do so without teaching in a professional setting. And secondly, because there's a kind of authoritative connotation of philosopher that I don't want to, I don't want to abuse. I mean, my general reaction is that I hope everyone's a philosopher. Can't understand, for example, we're presented with all these facts about methamphetamine and the newest wave and the, uh, uh, the drug war, uh, but we can't understand why people are drawn to such a terrible drug unless we understand how miserable living conditions are in those communities. And that requires something other than science. It requires narrative. And philosophy, I think, is the victim of an overly scientific, overly statistical, overly technicist, as my father called it in his work, public discourse. I guess the first thing that comes to my mind, since you're catching me out of the blue here, is Ice Cube. Um, take, take, take his song, A Bird in the Hand. Um, and compare it uh, to Tommy Shelby's dark 2007 dark ghetto paper, which draws our attention to non-ideal conditions in the American inner city that lead to economic crime, like drug dealing. And what Shelby does is say there's a failure of reciprocity in American society. People are born into great poverty, large wealth gaps between races, and in those conditions, some of the issues about punishment become irrelevant. And Ice Cube's Bird in, in Bird in the Hand song is about that very topic. It's about the forced economic choice that would lead one to become a drug dealer. Given the structure of society, it is unreasonable to punish someone for that choice. For more access to the Unmute Podcast, subscribe on iTunes or head over to the website at www.unmutepodcast.co. There you can get more information about our guests, participate in giveaways, as well as learn more about people, books, and concepts mentioned in today's episode. Until next time, remember that your silence will not protect you. Listen, think, speak. The world will be different as a result.